Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an empties video and I haven't done an empties video for quite some time. So these are empties from November, December and for January. I have finished most of these items in January because that is the time I was more, most consistent with my skincare and my makeup. But I did finish off a few products in November and December and I just want to mention them. So they are going to count in my January empties total that I haven't counted yet, but I will. Let's dig in to the items that I have in my basket. So I have a few makeup empties this month. I didn't think I was going to have some, but I do. So the first one I have is my primer. It is the Max Factor Face Finity all day primer. I love this primer. It is so so good. It is a kind of a moisturizing primer. So you can't feel any silicone or anything in it. So it's just really really nice on the skin. It stays a little bit tacky but that is only to make your foundation last longer you know. It says it extends the wear of foundation and I totally believe that. It has SPF 20 which is amazing. Not in the winter time in Denmark but overall this is a nice primer and I do think it, uh, it controls my oils in my T-zone. So I think this is a great great primer if you are looking for a primer and you can buy Max Factor in your country. Then we have an eyebrow product. It is the W7 Twist and Shape Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde. I love this one so so much. So this blonde shade is more on the taupe side. Even though you are brunette like me, you can get away with it. And these are really really great because it is a twist up. There's no product in it because the rest of it fell out because it was broken. Then on the other side there's a very very nice brush. It is a bigger brush and a shorter brush but it is very very nice. This is definitely a repurchase for me at some point because it's very cheap and it's really really good. Then we have a mascara. It is a W7 Flirty Eyes False Lash Effect Mascara. I don't agree with that but it is a nice mascara, I can use it on its own and it's a very natural mascara even though it says false lash effect mascara. So I don't think it is the greatest, the one I am wearing right now, which is the Last Tastic mascara. It is so much better. This mascara does not bend my lashes so you can actually see them when I look at you. This has a hourglass shape of a brush and it is a rubber brush and now I have mascara all over me and it is not waterproof so I'm not going to buy this again obviously because I don't really like it and it does not compete with the my favorite one. I used up a cream shadow it is the eye dream from W7 and it is kind of a liquid shadow. This dried up on me um, but Let me get that. So as I was saying, this dried up on me. I did take out the stopper and I won't say that I got everything out because it dried up on me. It was just too dry to get on the applicator. If I did get anything on my applicator, it was just dry before it even came on my eyes. I noticed the last few days I got to use this. When I have applied it, it was too dry because then it was going to flake off and the eyeshadow I got on top would flake off. In the end, it wasn't good, but it was beautiful. Beautiful all the way through until it dried up. So this is the shade Rose Garden and it was a rose gold shade So it was beautiful. I have some other colors, but this shade was my favorite of them all That is five or six I believe. <laughs> I'm really really sad this is gone because I really really love it And it went with most of the eye looks that I wanted to use So yeah, this pad would nicely with everything. So I'm kind of sad. I don't have it anymore Yeah the last makeup thing I have is a lip balm from Forever. It is the Hello Lips with Jojoba Oil. I love this lip balm. This was the lip balm that I had with me at the hospital. And I used this straight for a month, maybe two months. I have never gone through a lip balm that fast. But this was just amazing because it, it was with aloe vera and Jojoba Oil. So it was fully moisturizing and my lips were so dry. 
at the hospital like insanely dry it, I think it was the medication and painkillers and stuff like that but my lips is still kind of dry after it and it, it has been three months so I'm ready to move on but I but I miss this lip balm a lot um, because I really think this helped my lips. So I have a micellar water. It is from Crazy, I think. I bought it in Japan, so I cannot get this one again. But this was really, really nice micellar water if you can find it in Japan. So yeah, it's a cleansing water. Non-oil, non-alcohol, non-paraben spa water. Face, lips and eyes removes makeup and i just really really like this this was so nice and it didn't sting my eyes it didn't foam up as some cleansing waters can do so this was just really really nice to use morning and uh, evening and yeah so i used this for like a half a year so that last is very nicely that's everything i can say with this because i can't buy it again even if i wanted to yeah a bomb run toothpaste why not? It is from Sinail Signal. I used this uh, cognac sponge up. I've used it for like uh, seven, eight months, maybe a year even. And I just thought when we moved, I'm not going to use that anymore. Uh, I just don't want to. I didn't see an effect at the end and I had it open for a long time and yeah. I just don't want to use it anymore. <laughs> it is great. I used more regularly this one in the shower and that helped as well as an exfoliator. But I don't know if I'm going to have an exfoliator in my shower anymore. This one is from Melissa. It is a Danish brand. It is an exfoliating cream cleanser. I used this up in the shower. That is where I remember to use it the most and the small beads didn't get all over my sink and it was really really easy to remove in the shower. So I really enjoyed this but I don't know if I'm going to have one again. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. I used up the Toning Guy Casual Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. This is a small bottle of the big one that I do have in my collection, I had this in a panning game together with some of the other items. I love this texturizing spray. This is the second small bottle I have gone through. There's actually something in it. Oh, well, I can't get it out. So, um, but yeah, I really, really love this when I have waves or curls and then they will last longer because it is a texturizing spray. So it kind of holds your hair and, but it's not in a hairspray kind of way. I actually think I've only tried this, but it is really, really nice and it's not too expensive for how fast I'm or slow I'm going through it. So I think it is worth the money. This is the Benefit Moisturize Triple Performing Facial Emu Emulsion. Emulsion. I have no idea. With SPF 15. So I have had this since 2015 when I bought a holiday set with the skincare and I did like this a lot. I didn't no any of the SPF because I used it at night. It didn't sink in very fast, which I like more in a day cream. So that is why I use it at night time and it was really, really nice. So I couldn't get the last bit out and it has been laying down. Um, but the bottle is so beautiful. So the last item I have is a day cream with SPF 15 as well. It is from Matas Nature and this is a little bit cheaper than the Benefit one. And I like this more in the daytime. It sinks into my skin very nicely and it is with E vitamin and uh, organic, I think, <laughs> aloe vera. And yeah, this is a really, really nice one. And this comes with a pump as well as the Benefit one did. But I do like this pump a lot more because it pumps upwards. It's an air pump or what it's called. So this is so much nicer and I think it's just as big actually. Yeah, you get 0.3 milliliters more in the Benefit one than this one. But this is so, so nice and I really, really like it. So I will buy this again. And Maxis is a Danish drugstore. So it's very, very... Uh, easy to get a hold of if you want another one. So that is all my empties for the last three months So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe down below for more videos like this And then I hope to see you guys next time and yeah until then please take care